welcome back once again. Uh, thank you for stopping by and having a look. I do appreciate it. Uh, number two out of the add-ons we'll be covering for the next couple of days. Number two being Atlas Loot and Atlas Loot Enhanced. And it's got a couple of uh, little add-ons inside the pack when you download it. With, uh, add -on loot, um, uh, Atlas Loot Quest and a couple of other things as well. But we'll have a look at that in a moment. This is a great add-on. I recommend it for pretty much everybody. I think everybody should have it as um, it shows a lot of um, a lot of things in game. So it'll just be these two that I'm hovering over right now. But I'll um, put a link down below and I'll show you exactly where to download them. Um, so if you click on that link, it'll take you right to it. Um, just click on the you know download there, um, extract it to your interface add-ons folder. I'll show you exactly how to do that right now before we log in the game. Um, so once you open up your, your WoW folder, um, go to your interface add-ons. Uh, once you extract it here it'll say um, Atlas Loot Master or something like that and then once you go inside that folder that you've just extracted there'll be three more folders uh, which will be these three here. If you just uh, right click and cut and then come back to this add-ons folder where the, all your add-ons are and just go right click paste, paste them all there and um, there you go, voila, add-on's done, exit, run wow, here we go. Let's log in and check it out. So I think the next add-on I'll be doing on my next video, which will be tomorrow, um, I think we might do a quest, a quest add-on, maybe like a uh, vanilla guide or something like that. All right. Uh, so when you log in the game, once you've uh, um, extract, I'd like downloaded, extracted all the add-ons and whatever you need um, from that link. Uh, this is all just default. Once you come in, you just it'll be on your map there. It'll be a little box. Atlas Loot Enhance, it's called. Um, you can move. First of all, you can move this if you right-click the actual icon. You can move it wherever you want around the um, perimeter. So we might put it up the top there, eh? That's pretty good. So this is it once you open it up. Um, yeah, so if you've never used this before, you've got two sort of interfaces. Uh, one being options, uh, all the options available to this. Um, it's pretty default. You don't really need to touch this. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's, you don't really need to touch that at all, really. Uh, the second one, uh, Atlas. If you just click on Atlas, it brings you to a sort of a whole another interface with heaps of options down below. Which is, we'll get into this in a second. Um, and same being, if you click on Atlas Quest, it'll it'll open up a lot more things here. Um, but yeah, if we go back to just the main first interface, we have a couple of mines over here. I might get in the meantime, eh? Um, Bear with me. You know what it's like. <laughs> uh, so, if you go to um, choose select loot table, die, god damn it. There we go. So, if you go to um, select loot table, you see dungeon and raids, world bosses, uh, PvP resort, uh, rewards, uh, set collections, all different types of tier and stuff like that, um, board events, crafting, and uh, close. So dungeons and raids. Say if you um, you know want to want to look, you, you've just started, you want to see what drops in Rage Fire Chasm because you've you've just got all the quests and you want to go do that. Um, you want to see what gear is available for your class. Um, you can just uh, click on the Rage Fire, Rage Fire Chasm one, click, and then go select sub table. So this brings up the bosses actually inside the dungeon. So if you click on the first one, it'll show the first boss's name up the top here. And on the next one, if you click the next one, it'll boss's name and all the different loot that he drops there. When you get higher level, uh, you can go to somewhere like Alderman. Uh, so first up, it'll bring you to the first boss, uh, Balog. 
he drops um, you know a couple of items here. Uh, usually, if it's um, like got a got a query over it, if you just right click it, like if it doesn't show you initially, if you right click it, it'll just like sort of query the server of the add-on and it'll open it up for you. Um, generally, that usually means it just hasn't been discovered yet, but yeah. Um, next boss, Olaf. Same thing, see how it's item unavailable. Uh, item unavailable, this item is unsaved. To view, to view this item without risk disconnecting, you need to have the first scene in game or world. I haven't seen these items, obviously, because I'm low level, but um, if you just right click, it'll just open it up. It's, it's not like unsafe, it's just a, um, back in the day, you used to get disconnected all the time when you did this, um, but not anymore. It's, it's, it doesn't happen anymore. It's very, it's hundred percent safe. It's fine. Um, and now, obviously, going through, you can see what level range and stuff like that, and trash mobs, trash loot, stuff like that, uh, quest rewards. Um, yeah, uh, crafting. It's got heaps of crafting things like this. Uh, so if you go, um, say, if you're uh, in, uh, in China, you you want to you want to see. Uh, you know, your upcoming of what's available to you or something like that you know you can have a look in here um, and so on if you hover over it it tells you the mats and all, everything you need for it and the skill in the window uh, all that kind of stuff also you can go down the bottom and if you click next it'll actually um, tab through the um, ranks like here it'll tab through for you as well um, Someone's, someone's here. I just seen that up on my window. Look at that. Seal of command. That means there's alliance. Boys, we're about to get some action. <laughs> this is exciting. Uh, anyway. So let's see if we can continue here. Um, so if you open it back up, uh, if you click on, um, say, Atlas. Oh, you fucking little scumbag. Oh, look at this, boys! He's ninja my shit! Should I kill him? What do you reckon? Oh fuck off ads! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh! Alright, we're going ham. Die! Fucking hell, I killed like heaps then. Sorry lads. Probably nick this mine before this guy nicks off with it. Like I said, I like to keep it, you know, raw as, you know, we don't, we don't need to edit over here, do we? If you don't like uh, this, you can just skip forward, that's fine. Doing a quest while I'm waiting. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you want to have a look at some tier sets and stuff like that, you can... Go through, click on tier one. It's got the class and what it's called, uh, all the prophecy gear here. And if you hold down control, and uh, if you click on the item, left click and hold control, you can actually wear all the gear and see what you actually look like in that class. Um, let's have a look. Let's go shaman. It's called shaman earth fury. And if you just control click, and you can put on all the gear. And uh, let's have a look at something else. Um, world bosses. It's got all the world bosses here. Uh, all different pieces of gear and stuff like that. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, reputation. Once again, all different factions. Let's go have a look at. Let's click on the uh, new window, Atlas. Uh, this is uh, 
easily the one of the best uh, interfaces. Um, same sort of deal, like if you click on uh, up here on the left hand side, it's got all your, like, um, this is the Eastern Kingdoms, and then you've got Kalimdor, which, uh, like the Horde side, if you want to say that. And then all the dungeons lifted on this continent. Um, so, like Anexia's Lairs, Ulfrak, Well and Caverns, stuff like that. Instant Kingdoms, you've got Blackrock Depths, Noma, MC, SM, all these kind of ones. So, if you're doing something like the Scholomance, for instance, um, you want to see what quests are actually available for this dungeon. Say so you're leveling up and you're coming up around the same level as 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 Scholomance. Um, you can see what sort of quests are available for the Horde side. Uh, you can click on Alliance, same thing. Um, got some more options over here. Let's see if I can move that. Oh, looks like we can't. How we move that? Um, yeah, it looks like we can't move that. It's just the options. To, yeah, it's just customizable stuff kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so obviously you got rep. Rep, you'll get Argon Dawn rep, uh, kind of keys, skeleton key. Um, it just brings up a whole list of little different things like uh, to do with Scholomance. Um, like quests and bosses, um, yeah, like got level range, player limit, minimum player level. So 45 is the recommended like minimum, uh, but it's best suited for maybe like uh, 58 to 60. It's location. Um, what else? It's pretty similar to the other, but it just gives you a lot more. Uh, detail and stuff like that. Um, let's have a look at one out. Let's have a look at the Sunken Temple. Same thing, here we go. Also known as Temple of Alt Atal Hakar. Um, key. Obviously, there you go. Entrance. Um, if you click exit, it's got A there. So that's the entrance, is when you zone in. Um, and all the all the like little upper bosses, you know, when you go around the top, it's top and you got to kill because little mini bosses things. Um, so if you get lost, it might help, I guess. Um, bosses once again, you have a look here. Uh, yeah, level range. Um, I really like this add-on. It's great. We got a wish list. Uh, this is for, um, say, for instance, you're looking to get your pre-raid best in slot gear. All right. We'll go to Black Rock Depths, for instance. Last boss. Um, what is it called again? Well, let's just say this like piece of the gear is 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 wish list gear. Um, where is it? Yeah, I can't remember how to do it. There we go. That's it. Atlas Lutes, uh suit encrusted footwear added to wish list. So what I did was, um, sorry, this is like go back to Atlas, click on the uh, boss or whatever you are looking to get your pre-raid best in slot gear from. Here we go. There it is. Found him, Emperor. There we go. Um, sorry, I've only used this a couple times. Uh, like the wish list, I mean. So, Iron Foe, say if that's pre raid, best in slot gear. Alright, if you just hold uh, left alt and click, 
info added to wish list. Once you go down to the bottom and you click on wish list, it says uh, where and what dungeon that piece of gear drops from and what it is. Let's say my warrior pre raid vest and slot gear drops from Lower Blacks Rock Spire and it's this doggy, right? Helicon. Alright? Say if these wrists are best in slot. Okay, hold left alt, click, done. Okay, what else is best in slot for my class? Maybe it's something from ZG, or whatever. And it's her car for some reason. <laughs> and it's the Zinrot. <laughs> hold left alt, click, there we go. Um, go to wish list and it should be all listed here. There we go. There's the boots. Um, there's the wrist from the doggy and Hakai he's going to give me the sword one day hopefully all right um, what else what else what else so if, to get rid of them I believe you just uh, left click hand and uh, yeah there we go if you just hold down alt again and click the item say if we've done black rock Depths and I looted the info and I've got it. I don't need that on my wish list anymore. Boom, left click um, and left alt. We'll just remove it. Um, what else? What else? What else? So, yeah, crafting once again, uh, same, similar sort of layout, just a sort of different interface with a lot more options. That's all. But if you like it basic, um, you just go back to the normal standard one. Um, yeah, it's you know it's pretty pretty similar. It's a fucking great add-on. Like I recommend it. Hey, highly highly recommend it. Yeah, definitely useful for leveling, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I don't really much else to say. I think it's it's it downloads the live. Like it's yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, tell me what you think. I don't know I'm trying to just keep it sort of unedited, you know, how it is here. And uh, once it'll servers come out, I hope to do the same. So you know, if I get ganked at a time, that'll be awesome. A bit more, you know, real sort of visual kind of shit. So anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you.